So I wasn't going to do a editorial. I just seen that there about five minutes ago. I never read it, but I wasn't even going to do one. But I saw this editorial. This has been something that's been interesting for years. Editorial. Do you you seen some uh, Irving editorial? You know, the old days, uh, you know, like a uh, table and a group, a group of journalists does a editorial. Uh, now the building don't even exist. There's no such thing as a uh, meeting in, in a big room in a building. <coughs> they all work from home. Now somebody from the Irving Media, or whatever you want to call it, <coughs> former Irving Media, uh, is really praising this so-called doctor, Sarah Davidson. That's all you see is this individual is putting her on a soapbox to brainwash the public. Now let's see exactly what the editorial board, this could be one person that's a, a friend of hers, uh, is going to say, and I'm sure you won't hear the word crystal meth. Let's see. Sign, okay, sign it. Okay, Dr. Sarah Davison hopes to build a five-story apartment building on the site, blah, 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 with, uh, to first give those with addiction, mental health problems, homelessness, a chance at stable housing. This is a laudable project, and it's unfortunate that da Dr. Davison gets pushback pretty regularly. I'm one of them. Good housing and support is critical for helping people recovering from addiction get back on their feet into the work, workforce and society. You will not see a person on Crystal Met go back in the workforce. No. Can't see it. Uh, if you did some success story, let me know. Dr. Davidson has worked in addiction long enough to know that stable housing is the key piece of recovery journey. She told the Daily Gleaner that she's been looking for four years for a suitable property. And this woman only been in Fredericton for four years. She's from Ontario, telling us New Brunswickers how to run our business. Now she's hoping construction can start next year with up to 25 units ready to the following year. What are they going to mention right beside the school? The current one-story sculpture would be expanded at the back. Expanded at the back. I mean closer to the school. And upward. Adding four more stories. Dr. Davidson plans to make sure. Plans to make sure make use of provincial subsidies to ensure affordable, affordable, affordability for the units. The government of New Brunswick must not, never give her one cent. It's no secret that affordable housing and housing in all sorts is in short supply in Fredericton and beyond. What the hell does that have to do with this? The Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation released a report looking for... What the hell? We're not talking about people that's looking for housing. We're talking about people on crystal men. Blah, blah, blah. Reason, rising cost for labor, supplies. What the hell is this? The shortage drives into risks. Price raise. We must overcome these problems with a multi pronged approach to get supply in line with demand. And so when a developer proposed new housing, particularly for tenants who need affordable, secure housing to complete their recovery from addiction, the community should be lining up in support. In detailing the concerns she heard, Dr. Davidson knows a lot of people who see people a lot of people who see people who are homeless or in mental distress find it very upsetting. What about the crystal meth? And yet the solution is not to ignore these issues. Hope they go away or push people out of the immediate neighborhood. I'm definitely going to talk about the school. 
and to see the value in giving support and second chance to people with addiction. She never mentioned crystal meth. This recovery is, after all, good for the neighborhood. She's a nut. Those crying not in my backyard should consider the net benefits for public safety before voicing their negative views on this project. That's it. Who, who from the Irving media or this whatever you want to call it wrote this editorial? Never mentioned the school, said we should be lined up to support a project like this that all met heads will be used as a hangout and the cemetery be destroyed and the, the kids in school, right? Uh, who's writing these editorial? There's a good, there's a good question. What a nutcase. 